guys, I'm the CHALL, your Doncaster Rovers fan channel, and welcome to this news update. Now, today we're going to talk about two departures of net, well, one former star since he was released, and of course, one of our current goalkeepers. We were talking about a rumour about one goalkeeper that could come in, uh, but depending on if they're willing to let them go. Uh, and just give you my overall thoughts on all of these connecting stories. Well, two stories connected to each other and one other story. So, we're going to kick off first of all with one of our other stories. And that is, of course, Alex Baptiste. Now, we had him uh, this season. We didn't see much of him because of a massive injury that kept him out for most of this season. But... Good luck for you, Bolton fans, because he is joining you in League Two. Now, we do have an official article uh, from the club's official website, and it reads as follows. The experienced defender, aged 34, made 39 league appearances, netting four goals in a two-year spell with Bolton Wanderers between 2013 and 2015 after arriving from Blackpool. And Alex Batiste has returned to the University of Bolton Stadium after signing a one-year deal with Bolton Wanderers. He began his career with Mansfield Town in 2002, having progressed through the Stags youth ranks when he made 177 league appearances in a six-year spell at Field Mill. In 2008, he moved to Lancashire, agreeing a deal to join Blackpool, where he played for 170 games for the Tangerines before joining Wanderers in May 2013. After his first spell with Wanderers, he went on to feature for Blackburn Rovers, Middlesbrough, Sheffield United, Preston North End, Queen's Park Rangers, Luton Town and of course Doncaster Rovers. Talking to Bolton Wanderers Football Club .co .uk about his return to Wanderers, Baptiste said, I'm absolutely buzzing to be returning to Bolton Wanderers. I've had a good two and a half weeks training with the club and the gaffer's ideas are brilliant. With the way he wants to play, these are really exciting times for Bolton Wanderers. Head coach Ian Everett, who of course the now former Barrow manager who came into the club to replace Keith Hill, added, we welcome Alex back to the University of Bolton Stadium. Alex is a player and person I know very well and he's vastly experienced, having played in the Premier League at a high level for the majority of his career. He's a fantastic person as well and will help guide our young squad from inside the dressing room. He's impressed during a trial period with the club and is raring to go. So that is the story of Alex Baptiste. Now, I can't really speak about him uh, on a Doncaster Rovers level because, of course, he's hardly featured for us. He only featured in a few games um, before he got the massive injury. And, you know, it, it didn't really make much of an impact that he should have done at, at Doncaster Rovers. Because I think that when we signed him originally last season, around this time last season, I think that he was an experienced defender and I think he was going to be a big help to our defence. However, it just it, I think the injury just kind of ruined his progress at Rovers. But over the last you know, two weeks or so, he has been training with the Bolton squad, he's got experience with the Bolton squad, and, you know, I've got very high hopes for Bolton in League 2, I really do, because they've got a manager in Ian Ever who plays very exciting football, and, you know, I watched a lot of, not a, a lot of non-league football last season, and watching Barrow play in the, uh, what we call the barrow Salona play that Ian Ever sort of brought into the club, I'm guessing he's really, really trying to bring that that Bolton Salona, you know, to the to the club. They're bringing the Bolton Salona football, and he's bringing that Barcelona style football to Bolton Wanderers that he did at Barrow. So, I think Ian Everett's got a good job on his hands with Bolton. Obviously, with the brand new ownership with Football Ventures, and you know the exit of the Andersons, and I think that you know Ian Everett's got a good job on his hands because Bolton are in League Two now, and the the only way is up. The only way is up for Bolton Wanderers. So, uh, with the signings that Ian Everett's been making at the minute, I think they've got an exciting squad on their hands. They've got, uh, obviously, Nelson Delfinito that they recently signed, which is the striker. Again, formerly with experience from clubs such as Blackpool. And, you know, he's, he's a veteran striker, so he's going to be good for the squad. And I think Ian Everett's got a really good job. On it. Like I said, Everett's got a brilliant job on his hands because he's got a club that the only way is up. Gone from League Two, it can take them all the way through the leagues. If he just, if if he does really well with Bolton Wanderers in League Two next season and in League One next season, the following season as well, if they get promoted, which I think they will, to be honest, stay with Bolton. Don't take big offers from bigger clubs because they don't always work out. Stay with Bolton Wanderers because I think 
that type of football is very exciting for Barrow fans as it will be for Bolton fans. So I think Ian Everett's got a very exciting style of football and it'll be interesting to see how Bolton compete in League 2 next season with all these massive new signings to, to help the younger players. So, But I wish Alex all the best from your former club and um, yeah, good luck next season. Now, one of our current goalkeepers is going out on loan next season. That's right, it's Ian Lawler again. And he's going out this time to Oldham Athletic again in League 2. Now, officially from the Oldham Athletic Club website, uh, it reads as follows. The Oldham Athletic is pleased to announce the signing of goalkeeper Ian Lawler on a season-long loan from Doncaster Rovers. The 25-year-old shot stopper joined Doncaster in January 2017 and has since made 85 appearances for the club as well as playing a part in their promotion from League 2. I remember that all too well. He began his career with Manchester City and enjoyed loan spells with Barnet and Berry, where he gained vital first-team experience. Impressively, he kept five clean sheets in 12 league appearances for the Shakers. Lawler has represented the Republic of Ireland at under-19 and under-21 level altogether 11 times and more recently he's been part of the senior squad for friendlies against Italy, Portugal and Costa Rica. The goalkeeper has been also previously part of the national squad for the World Cup qualifiers and the head coach of Oldham Athletic, Harry Kuehl, is delighted to have Lawler saying he's the perfect signing for us. He's creating competition, his attitude is perfect and he's going to be a great addition. His work ethic throughout his career has been top quality and the way I want to play is accept the challenge straight away. Personally, it's going to be a good partnership for Ian and Oldham and I'm really looking forward to it as a lot of hard work has gone into getting this deal done this week. Now Lawler's shirt number, like the rest of the squad, will be released in due course with his first official club interview being posted over this weekend. So that, my friends, is the latest about Ian Lawler. Now... On one hand, I'm quite surprised about this because, of course, diang has gone back to QPR. The only other keeper we've got is Lewis Jones, as well as this Kilpatrick from the Youth Academy, who's 18 years old. I think 18, 17, 18 years old, around about that. 19, I think. Um, but we've got Kilpatrick, and then we've got Lewis Jones. Now, Lewis Jones, obviously, they've been called upon to give him a chance. Uh, I'm sure Darren Moore will probably give him a chance at some point. But, with Lola being loaned out again next season, does this mean we're going to actually sign a new keeper? Does this, is this another sort of nail in the coffin to say, yes, we're going to sign another new keeper, uh, either on a loan deal or some kind of permanent deal? Um, so I'm very excited to see if we do sign a new keeper or we give the competition to Jones and the youngster Kilpatrick. Uh, but, with Lola then... It's very interesting. Now, I spoke about in my Doncaster Rovers season review, I spoke about when he did play for us before he went on loan to Scunthorpe in the second half of the season. I did say he was an average keeper and he didn't he didn't do too bad, but he didn't do too great. So it was vital that someone like DN came in and showed him how it's done. Um, but this gives me aspirations that we're going to sign a either a Premier League loanee or a Championship loanee goalkeeper who's got that experience to... Well, not just experience, but that that world, that upper tier talent to to show how it's done, and you know I think that Lawler going out on loan may be the good thing in the long term. But I believe Lawler's contract runs out in 2021, or at the end of next, or the end of this next season. So um, by 2021, we'll know if we're signing Lawler up to a new contract or not, and whether the the loans out to places like Scunthorpe and Oldham are going to be the experience he needs to to drag into the first team. Um, but moving on to who could be a goalkeeper for us, and that is West Brom's Alex Palmer. Now, this is from EFL Transfer Talk, which is a Twitter account. Uh, so this is not confirmed in either way, but I thought I'd read something that I found on Twitter. So according to at Transfer News EFL, aka known as EFL Transfer Talk on Twitter, Doncaster is showing the most interest in Alex Palmer this summer. In an ambitious attempt, Plymouth, I believe, want him, but nothing, but not looking likely. West Brom may want to keep him, or he could be let out on a six-month loan. So that is a very interesting one. Alex Palmer. Now, West Brom keeper, quite young, got the Premier League experience, kind of. But obviously because he's coming from now a Premier League team in West Brom, former championship team now. And, you know, I, I'm not too sure what to think about this one. I think a six-month loan deal is it's just not right, is it? I think a six-month loan deal only covers one half of a season. And 
if we don't have a goalkeeper that's going to be consistent for the second half of the season, if we're not signing, if we're not extending Palmer's loan deal, if he comes in on a six-month loan, then you know we've only got ourselves to blame because we have an inconsistent keeper for the second half of the season, where we could have extended Palmer's loan and made it a full season long loan, um, depending how he performs. But if he performs great and we let him go after six months and we're performing consistently and miss out on playoffs again for the second season in a row, that's, you know, that's where the fault lies. And, you know, if Palmer does great, it'd be great if we could extend his loan for the rest of the season if he comes in in the first place. It'd be interesting. But I would much prefer a permanent goalkeeper that we could sign either on a free transfer or an undisclosed fee that does the job for a good number of years, for a long period of time, whether it's a young guy that's 23, 24, does the job for about eight years, uh, or we get in a Premier League loanee and then sign someone up on a deal for next for the, for the following season, for the 2021, 2022 season, uh, on a permanent deal on a one, two, three, four, five year contract. I would much rather do that rather than getting someone on a six month loan we want to extend it. West Brom say no. They get him back. We perform with an inconsistent goalkeeper that maybe does worse than Palmer. And we miss out on playoffs for the second season in a row. I would much rather have a one-year loan for Palmer or a one-year loan for a Premier League goalkeeper. Um, and then bring in someone permanently the next season. Especially if we get promoted to the Championship because we need a permanent goalkeeper for the Championship. We can't be bothering with Premier League loanees in the Championship. Or... We get someone permanent straight away. We don't focus on loaning in any goalkeepers. We get a permanent transfer for a goalkeeper. I'm not too, I'm not too sure who could come in permanently, either on a free or an undisclosed fee like we did with Magic Gomez, the midfielder uh, from the Croatian club NK Istra 1961, I believe it's called. <laughs> um, you know, we brought him in last season or last summer for an undisclosed fee. Whether that's... I don't know. I don't know what the fee for Magic Gomez could be. I mean, it could be £300,000 for all we know. But someone on an undisclosed fee or a free transfer would be a better option as well as a one-year loan for a Premier League goalkeeper and then bring in someone permanent if we get promoted to the Championship. So, I think it's going to be interesting to see what the goalkeeper situation is going to be like. I may decide to do a video on it uh, to look at Jones, look at Kilpatrick look at the, the young keepers in the Premier League and the Championship, see what's out there on a loan deal, look at any free transfers and undisclosed fees that you could pay for for goalkeepers and try and find some underrated targets. And I might do a separate video looking at goalkeepers before we make any kind of moves. Um, so there we go. So that's your main stories. I did see some um, like little like rumours. No articles or any source to support it, but I read somewhere that sadly there's rumours to go to Wickham now. So... Uh, you know, whether that happens or not, we don't know. Maybe Sadly it would be a good move for Wickham in the Championship. We can showcase Sadly at a higher level, but uh, I'm not going to believe that until we see anything concrete. But, you know, nothing really much else has been said in terms of Rovers transfers today. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, looking at the goalkeeper situation, and, of course, saying bye-bye to Alex Baptiste as well as Ian Lawler as well. Comment down below, would you like to see Alex Palmer coming in, either on a six-month or a one-year loan? Uh, would you like to see Sarkic from Wolves? I've heard he's a decent goal young goalkeeper from the, pre from the Premier League Championship, etc. level. So, would you like to see Sarkic coming on a one-year loan from Wolves? Of course, he recently left Aston Villa for Wolves on a permanent deal. So, would you like to see him loaned out to us for the season? Uh, comment down below. Do you want to see Diang back? Now, uh, this might be a long shot, but do you think Diang should come back? Comment down below. And for now, guys, my name is the C-H-A-L-L, your Doncaster Rovers fan channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, goodbye. Rovers,